we'll start with a new chapter today shastravacharani madhyay prakshasyam <coughs> shastra word is produced from shas dhatu and shas dhatu has two meaning shas hinsayam one and another is shas vadhe so something which produces either the pain or which produces death is considered as a shastra so originally the word meaning of uh, the instrument of shastra is related to the warpath and in the warpath again there were two varieties of the instruments used the astra and the shastra shastra are those instruments which were which would be handled directly with the hand and then hit used to hit others so yena karadhate nahanyate tat shastram khardani yena kshipte nahanyate tad astram kandadi so the astra are those which are thrown from away and then it's used to hit and very interestingly the inter, uh, invention of the human being man invented the instruments to hurt others in the beginning it starts with the history of humanity it starts with the stone age and where the stones were used to uh, kill the animals and maybe hurt the animals and used for the food so it's for the hunting and then gradually the instruments are developed to work hunting and warfare so man invented more on the warfare side than really the human welfare side credit to sushruta and credit to indian medicine goes from that point if you like the technology used to uh, hurt the others like warfare they were used for the welfare of the human being and used for the treatment of a disease and that's for the first time that you see in the indian philosophy or indian medicine side so that's what we have to be proud of sushruta has mentioned 20 varieties of such instruments which were derived originally from the warfare and repurposed modified into welfare of the human being and they were of 20 varieties and they are mandalagra karapatra vrutipatra nakshastra mudrika utpalapatra ardhadara suchi kushapatra ati mukha sharahi mukha antar mukha trikuchaka kutharika vrih mukha ara vedasa patra badisha dantashanku yeshanya idi now sushra had invented 20 of them but varbata has added a few more and hence varbata has mentioned 26 of the instruments chaturvimshati and those additional instruments which are mentioned by varbata are dandalekhana kartari sarvavatra shastra now sarvavatra or sarvapana mukha yantra is mentioned by sushra whereas varbata has mentioned it in the context of shastra a sharper instrument then Sharaka, Sharaka again, uh, in Sushuda it's a Yanta, whereas in Vagbhata there is a Sharaka Yanta as well as Sharaka Shastra. Karna Vedhana Suchi and Khadja, these are the additional instruments which are mentioned by Vagbhata as such. Now, okay, now coming to each of these instruments, like Mandalagra, the Mandalagra Shastra is where the edge of the instrument is somewhat curved and it, because it is curved, Major advantage would be it can show, uh, cut the area without blocking the vision of the person. Either it could be a curved as a convex or it could be a concave curve. In Sushita's period, these instruments didn't have a disposable handle or a detachable handle. Now, because we have a detachable blade with a single handle, you can modify the shape of these blades in any shapes and it can be used for different sorts of the cutting activity. Sushruta has described, the Bhagavata, uh, Dallana has described the uh, shape of this Mandalagra Shastra. Mandalagra iti mandalam yo agram yasya tat mandalagram tatya dvidam yadagre mandalam rattam shura samsthana yoja mandalagra sijani yata pramanam shadangulam. Either where the tip is curved or the edge is curved. These are the different types of the Mandalagra Shastra as such. And uh, that's the uh, one of the instruments. And uh, another of the instruments is the Karapatra. Karapatra is uh, where Karapatra Patram Yasya, where the edges are tooth blade. And because of the tooth blade, a horizontal movement of the instrument can cut through a straight line. And uh, that's uh, the Karapatra. It's something like the saw. Yatha Kara Anguri Bihi Achitaha Bhoti, Takwajan Pantake Achitam Syatra, Tas Karapatram Chede. Now also we use exactly similar instruments in the surgery, saw or now we have some more advantage, some more technology added to 
by having a giggly sock by a, instead of a rigid sock which has to have a only horizontal movement microscope and wherever there is a lesser space for the movement if you use a flexible wire which has a toothed edge it can act as a saw and hence the advantage of the saw is a repeated horizontal movements over the area can produce a smooth cut it can be cut as a that's the advantage of the saw and it's used for cutting rigid objects like the bones most often it is often used for the bones whereas Vrithipatra Shastra or the scalpels are used for cutting softer tissues uh, Mandala Shastra are, uh, are used for uh, cutting the softer tissues Vrithipatra is again a scalpel only but the scalpel which has a very pointed tip because it has a pointed tip it can be used for a penetrating activity whenever there is a stabbing needed like uh, you have to go to a thicker surface like drainage of a deep seated axis in that condition a scalpel with a very pointed tip is used now of course in the present situation we may not use a scalpel with a fixed handle we may use a scalpel with always with a detachable handle so you do not find much of the difference between a mandalagra or vrajipatra in terms of what we see in the market now the difference will be only in terms of the shape of the blade so that is in social spirit such instruments which had a very tip pointed tip like scalpel they were considered as a vrajipatra vrajya he patram eva vrajya patram ta chaturvidam anjitagram prayatagram the tip is either convex or concave that's about one more now another of the shastra is the nakha shastra nakha shastra is a traditional nail parer used in the olden days not the nail cutter of the present day situation nakha nam thirnaya shastram nakha shastram vakra rujudharam vimukham nakha shastram navangula sukshma shalya udhrata cheda bheda prachana lekhane it's something like a chisel like instrument which has a sharp edge and the sharp edge can be moved in a vertical and horizontal in an angle manner something like where you can take a slide, horizontal slice of a tissue wherever there is a need of such an activity so initially it's a vertical push and then after vertical push then a horizontal push that kind of a movement required with a sharp instrument that kind of instrument can be used to her the movements in the current surgery we do use similar instruments of different saws the chisels we call them as either as chisels or maybe parrots they also use and mainly wherever there is a need to remove a slice of a tissue we use that kind of an instrument which can be considered as a nakha shastra then another very ingenious technique of the instrument used by sushruta is the mudrika shastra where there is no handle now with all the other instruments the handles would be rigid because there is a rigid handle it will be difficult to penetrate through a cavity or where the axis is lesser so instead you fix that nail or fix that uh, uh, blade to the finger and then the finger itself would be acting as a handle such a knife with a, a handle uh, is fixed to the nail or fixed to the finger is the mudrika shastra mudrika shastra mudrika ya baddham vritti patra tulya lakshanam vyamulam kshakaram tacha loke kshura prasiddhi prasiddham now in many of the uh, these uh, traditional warfare uh, issues like kusti and so on they use similar instruments that they have that knife added to the finger and if you see going to the history shivaji had that kind of a knife and then uh, aurangzeb was hit with that all that about the story but it's not only that story and the warfare issue is a mitral valvotomy knife which is used now for the surgery mitral valvotomy is one of the uh, somewhat obsolete surgery now now because you have more of this uh, uh, endoscopic or fibroscopic in, uh, tools we may not use a mitral valvotomy knife now but a few years earlier mitral valvotomy was one of the life saving surgery in case of mitral valve stenosis and the treatment in that surgical procedure was done by exactly a similar instrument a knife fixed to the finger so that you can reach to the mitral valve without really cutting through the myocardium at the base of the aorta a penetration is done and the mitral valve could be uh, chopped off that kind of instrument was so used to till very recently in even in the context in the present context 
So Mudrika Shastra is such an innovative tool where the knife is fixed to the finger and the finger itself would act as a handle. So it is a flexible handle uh, and it can have a better access. Then Mutpala Patrena, Tulya Mutpala Patrena, Tikshna Dharam Samahitam. Shadangulam Pramanayana Shastram Uttpala Patrakam Uttpala Patrai is a circular, uh, horizontal circular uh, edge knife as a knife with a circular edge. Now this again is used in the surgery wherever there is a need to have a slice of the tissue. Particularly when you dissect the fat tissue, often this kind of instrument is used when there is a need to dissect the fascia. Then too we use uh, the similar knives, the fascia knives. The phenomena or mechanism of acting uh, action of this instrument is uh, something like the household instrument used to remove these lift dosa from the tower. So because he, whenever there is a cleavage space between the two tissues, find out the cleavage and insert this horizontal blade through that and lift up the tissue plane as such. So wherever there is a need to separate a fascia from a horizontal surface, uh, then we use that kind of a knife in the current surgery. That's the Uttpalabhatra Shastra where the edge of the instrument resembles that of the leaf of a bottle in the plant, circular one. Then Ardhadhara is Ardhadhara is Ardhadhara Yasya Tadardhadharam Vakradharam Iti Prasiddham. Ardhadhara is when a knife has one edge sharp and the other edge is quite rigid and hard. Uh, it's whenever there is a need to hit an object, a strong object, with the repeated hitting movement, we use that kind of rigid knife. Uh, these are called as bestuaries. It's a sort of scarf, but bestuaries now in the current practice, most of the times bestuaries are used in the postmortem uh, dissection than really in the surgical OT dissection. OT dissection, we use more sophisticated instrument. It's something like the bitter nut cutting knife in the household, the household knife like uh, instrument, where because the other edge is rigid, hard, it can be used for a cutting, chopping. Even butcher's knife also is a similar thing, uh, instrument, which has an edge. Of course, in the present day surgery, we may not use exactly a similar mystery in the live surgery uh, because it looks a bit odd. But in the postmortem surgery, in the postmortem theatres, you still use the exactly the same instrument of Arthadhara Shastra. Then another of the instruments mentioned by Sushura is uh, the Kushapatra and the Vetasapatra, two sets of the instruments where the edge of the instrument, the life, is quite long and uh, flexible. The difference between the Kusha and the Vetasapatra, Kusha is uh, the Dharbha, Vetas are the bamboo. The shapes of the leaves are almost similar. The only difference is the dimensions, length. Now, when we use the, in the current surgery, in the vascular surgery, we use a Paget's knife, a elongated knife like structure, is a needle plus knife. That kind of an instrument is used where you insert the a blade, flexible blade into the vessel and then lift it up. As you lift up, you can have a split of the vessel Particularly, it is used in the vascular surgery. Paget's knife is used in the vascular surgery. And as you lift up, a long slit in the vessel can be done without really uh, producing a rough edge because the mucosa is cut from within and you lift it up. The mucosal surface would have a smooth edge and that's the advantage in case of the vascular surgery. So, such knives could be considered as a, either the Kushapatra or the Vetasapatra. The otherwise, the features are the same. The differences between Vetasa and the Kusha is uh, only the dimensions. A thinner one is a Kushapatra, a relatively wider one is uh, considered as a Vetasapatra.